Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Diddy Kong Racing DS for the Nintendo 64. Today, my friends, we're going to be doing something that I dreaded doing for the longest time. And that is actually doing the stupid balloon challenges. I thought about it and I actually tried recording this video, but in a different way a couple of days ago and I realized that I couldn't do it man I just I just couldn't do it I have to do this this balloon challenge in order for me to be able to progress further on into the game so today we're gonna suck it up and finish off this area completely 100% and then hopefully we'll obtain a lot of balloons oh okay get ready and okay okay oh man dude uh, turn around this is too much this is too crazy for me so apparently I gotta hit these balloons and then at the same time I have to uh, grab these coins and put them in my bag, which is too much to do and then at the same time You're also moving the camera, so it's not like the camera moves on its own and it helps you out It's they they want to make this as tedious for you as possible. So um, Oh man, and everything for some reason is just like mirrored like to go up. I have to push the thing right Oh, okay. Oh, oh man. Come on. There we go. There we go. Just pop them all. No, no, no this way this way oh, Okay, okay. I don't even know man if I'm gonna be able to do this I don't I, I'm not entirely sure if I need to pop all the balloons either that's the thing like because I've never played this before and I just really wish that this was just a coin challenge like I personally would have preferred it to be just a coin challenge over whatever this is uh, just because this is not fun at all like it's it's not Diddy Kong racing dude it's like we're on some freaking magic carpet pretending to be Aladdin Okay, see, I didn't even grab that coin. That's that's freaking lovely. So coins in this game are are used for upgrades. I didn't know that either. That you had to do upgrades in the game in order to help you out. So I got what nine? I got 41 balloons out of 50, and then nine out of 15 coins. So what does that mean? I get a silver balloon or something? Does that still mean I get a balloon from my boy Taya? What's up, dude? You got something for me? You better have something for me because I'm expecting something from you. Let's see, it better be a nice golden balloon. Please be a- Yes! Okay, so what does that mean then? Somebody please let me know. Because I actually tried doing my research on this game and there is like- There's not really much about this game online. Like, I, I really think people don't like this game to the point where they don't even bother looking at it. So, uh, Jungle Falls is the next level. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, no, no. I screwed up already. I wish that I could just- do this in a way where it, the camera moved on its own instead of the way it is now. It just doesn't it doesn't make much sense. Okay, is there something up there? Yep, there's something up there, but I don't know how to how to do this. So I'm just gonna get the balloons or get as many balloons as I can. Oh, come on, come on! I'm touching you all. I'm touching you all. What, what do they want me to do? I'm sitting here popping them as quickly as I can, and then it's not working. Okay. Even the music here is different, which is pretty cool. Okay, what do we have here? More balloons. I know I skipped over a ton, because look at how short this level is. So there's probably a ton that I just skipped over. Okay, oh man. And then there's one up there. But you know what? That's all good. Can I pop that one? I'm trying to pop those two, and I didn't even get those two back there. So I got 36 out of 50. I hope that's still good enough for my boy Taja to give me uh, a balloon. Yeah, okay, it is. Cool. So I guess I really don't need... Anymore, maybe I could do one more right I'll do one more hot top volcano Wait, let's see what else we have here. I'll probably go back to and do these on my own time by the way Just to make sure that I perfect them um, and see if I do get anything else. Oh oh, Get ready How is this gonna work if there are two different sides to hot top volcano? It just doesn't make sense So if I want to go left, I actually have to move the thing left right would be like this left would be like that Okay I got it now. I got it now, guys. Okay, right? Nope, nope. Oh, man, this is so confusing. I think I got it, but it's always so confusing to me. Okay, then this is the last one I'm going to do, and then I'm going to make my way to the next area. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make sure I have enough balloons. Like I said, I tried recording this on a different day, and unfortunately, I was, like, I had, um, I was behind on some balloons, and at the same time, um, I didn't upgrade my vehicle, and I really do need to upgrade the vehicles that I have now. Because the game does get significantly harder and with upgraded vehicles I believe it will make the game much easier at least according to all of you guys I had so many people tell me that they told me go upgrade your stuff at the at the little hut 
So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all you guys' advice, and I'm going to go do that once I'm done with this. Come here. Also, I am playing with Timber. Today is the episode where I'm playing with your boy Timber. Look at how many we actually got. That's pretty impressive. There's less than, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine balloons left. And we almost got all the coins as well. So these might not be as bad as they look. It's just because I've never personally played them before. It just feels super foreign to me. But there we go. We have 21 balloons. And um, I think that was that's perfect enough for us to bounce. Uh, which one of these courses had the key in it as well? I don't even know. I'll come back to that later. You know, I'll do all of those on its own episode. Just the keys, the bosses, and everything like that. Just because, you know, um, it'll just keep it much more organized. But anyways, we're making our way to the last area of the game, which requires 16 balloons. It's kind of deceiving because you need 16 to enter the room, but you need more than 16 in order to play these levels. There is one level that I actually already played through. Oh, are you serious? You've already won this event. Aren't there any... Okay, so I can't play that one, unfortunately, for you guys. That really stinks because this game automatically saves. So, good thing I didn't try to beat anything else, otherwise I totally would have screwed this up. But anyways, that level wasn't that bad. It was actually a pretty easy level to do, um, and I would have easily beaten it. There we go. Oh, no, I didn't even upgrade my vehicle. You see that? I completely forgot. That is how stupid I've become. I just forgot to upgrade the vehicle. So I gotta exit this place first, and then I gotta go to the little hut. And that's where you upgrade the vehicles. And I'll show you guys exactly how it's done in this game. It's very different, like, from Diddy Kong Racing. I don't even know in Diddy Kong how the vehicles were they used to get upgraded. I think it was just uh, you did challenges with the elephant. And then every time you beat a challenge, he upgraded your vehicle. Uh, but in this game, you have to use the coins. Okay, I forgot. You got to rub the stupid genie lamp. And then out comes the genie, even though he was inside or outside the hut. Hello, how is it going, my friend? How are you doing today? I want to upgrade my vehicle, so I'm going to go to the car, and then we're going to buy the uh, race work, and we're going to click yes, and then look at that! We got a nice spoiler on it! Spoilers actually do make the cars go faster, sport cars and whatnot. That's why you notice every single sport car, at least most of them, will have spoilers on it. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and upgrade our plane, and look at that! It also has a spoiler, so we just spent 50 coins doing these kinds of upgrades. And I'm not sure if they're upgraded just for that one in particular character or if it's an upgrade that lasts for everyone else. But we'll find out because in the next episode, I'll most likely play with someone besides Timber. Also, if you guys do know how to um, how to unlock characters, let me know because I want to unlock some new characters. Unless it's something that happens at the end of the game, which I don't actually know because I don't even remember the old one. It's been so long since I've played the original game, or at least beaten the original game rather. Alright guys, so I'm actually restarting this level, um, I slipped on one of my own little oil stains, and it literally screwed me over until the end of the race, which sucks. What the heck, man? How do these guys get better boosts than me? I mean, there's no way they're, they're actually spinning their stylus and whatnot. No, 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 she's gonna grab the thing, she always grabs the thing! Yes! That's actually better that she slipped on it like that. Okay, that's good, because that's what screwed me over in the last uh, attempt that I tried to do this on. Oh, somebody magnetized themselves on me, but whenever I use a magnet, it doesn't do diddly squat. But there's a couple boost panels here. I want to make sure that I grab all of these boost panels because they will help me out. Also, look at this. Look at this. Using the power of R in this game is actually very convenient for you because it really does help you cut sharper turns and whatnot rather than screwing you over. And I got to make sure that I don't... Okay, I'm going to put it right here. There we go. Somebody please slip on it. I'm going to put this one right here in front of the blue one. There we go. Somebody's bound to hit that. Yes! Oh, did he hit it twice? There's no way he hit it twice. Because it showed his animation thing twice really quick. But this is good because I just put some distance between them. And that's the way you want to keep it. Because these races, they're always just very, like, close. I don't know why. I guess the computers just get much better towards the end of the game. Um, which makes perfect sense. But, um... Oh, man. Okay, okay, ah, uh, it's just, it doesn't make sense that it's this hard, you know, considering that this is the first time we're playing these courses. Nobody slipped on that, so somebody's bound to slip on this one. Everybody avoided those. Please, somebody, let, let somebody slip on it, please, just so I, so I feel good about myself. I feel good about the placements of my oil stains. Nobody's gonna slip on them, are you serious? 
And I'm not even that far ahead from these guys. Somebody is on my tail. This is not cool. I, I can't see them on the map, but if you look at the little thing, you can totally see that they're so close to me. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Get over here. Ugh. And one more. One more. Yes! And I did it. Very nice. So Crunch, in fact, did come in second place. Did anybody step on these things? They're gone. They didn't even notify me that somebody slipped on them. What kind of bogus schmogus is that? Also, before uh, any of you guys say anything about the stuff that I don't have on the bottom screen, I'm definitely going to go back and obtain everything. So all you got to do is just be patient with me. I think I'm going to start doing that in the next level just because there really isn't anything else for me to do. Oh, no. There's one of these. This is a hovercraft level. Oh, man. I didn't even notice that because I didn't even upgrade my hovercraft. Okay. I guess I got to win this. I have to try my best not to lose. And it's going to be difficult because I don't even know how this guy holds up in water levels like this. And I don't even have 25 coins to upgrade either if I wanted to. So this is going to stink. Oh, come on. How is this guy so fast? These guys don't have... They do have... Did you see that? They have upgraded vehicles. I'm the only loner here. I'm the only guy that doesn't have one. This is not cool. I'm going to take the shortcut, by the way. Oh, everybody's taking the shortcut. <laughs> Go figure. Stop upgrading your stuff. Look at that. He upgraded his thing again. But what if I do win this without an upgrade? I will feel so good about myself. We'll go to show that these computers aren't as good as they seem. He doesn't seem to have an upgrade. I can't actually tell because his thing doesn't seem to have anything fancy schmancy on it. It's only maybe some of the characters in the game. Which does now worry me now that I think about it because it makes it seem that these guys, I have to upgrade them all individually rather than, you know, getting multiple upgrades at once. Also, if you hit the bell, I'm pretty sure that raises the uh, the bridge and then that's how I actually get the coin or the, whatchamacallit, the key for the little section. Oh, how, did I, how did that not hit you, you stupid little pipsy tipsy? Ah, oh, come on. Get in there. In there. Second. Oh, oh, dude, where is first place? Oh, he's right there. How did he get hit? I, I don't understand how he got hit. I mean, that's good that he got hit. I'm not complaining about it, obviously. But it's just it's kind of weird to me that, you know, this dude got hit. I might actually stand a chance. Yes, she got hit. This guy is slowing down massively, which is amazing. Oh, I'm in first place. I was, I was thinking about restarting this. But thank goodness I did not allow myself to do so. That would have sucked. I'm going to put this right here in front of this. How did he not slip on it, man? That was the perfect placement for it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this just in case he does attempt to come near me. All right, come on. Actually, this is better if I get this one. There we go. Power up. I have five freaking missiles. I swear if you beat me, I'm going to be upset. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm going to get the boost panel as well. There we go. There we go. No, 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 no. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yes, 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 first place, and I didn't even upgrade my hovercraft. Whew, that was awesome. That was very, that wasn't fun at all. I don't like hovercraft levels with, to be honest with you guys. I think there's going to be, um, the next level, it might be a, oh, it's a car level. That's right, I remember now. It's haunted something. That level's actually pretty fun. And then the boss is going to be using the hovercraft, which is awesome. Not the hovercraft, but the plane. So then we'll be golden, okay. Wait, what? What was that? I thought I saw a balloon just kind of floating around. Let's see, is that was that what it is? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, my mind's just playing tricks on me. Okay, so the final level is Haunted Woods. And as you can see, you need 22 balloons to do this. So even if you did beat every single one of the levels, you still have to go back and then do some extra balloons in order to actually unlock this level, which is kind of stupid. I never, I, I don't understand that in this game. Like, I, I don't know why they couldn't just make it a way where you know you could beat every single level and then go back and then replay all of the levels because why would you want to replay a level after you just played it you know unless that's how they intended for you to do it you beat the levels and then you beat the second portion of the level again like 100 percent it completely before making your way to the next area which does make come on you stupid tipsy at least this isn't as bad as Mario Kart. I know I complain a lot when I play this game, but it's not as bad as Mario Kart. The only thing that I hate about it is you can't really recover. Like, if you get screwed over by anything, it's impossible to recover from it. Unless these guys get screwed over as well. So it's just kind of a game where you have to wait 
for one person to screw over the next person in order for it to work. And then we have these little whiz pig heads that are supposed to be the equivalent of the booze in uh, Super Mario, I'm assuming. They're just little whiz pig ghosts floating about. Final lap, guys. Here we go. I think I can actually do this. Nope. Can't do that. There's no way. There's no way I was going to actually beat that level. Okay, so uh, once again, items screwed me over big time. And I was at the very end of the race, I was feeling good, I was about to win, and then somebody came at me with like a super homing missile for some stupid reason. But yeah, uh, now I gotta replay this. And it's always the same two people up in front always giving me the trouble. It's the stupid mole and her, whoever she is. Dixie, Trixie, Pixie, I don't know, she's one of the Kongs, one of the many, many Kongs. Okay, come back here. You're not faster than me. There's no way you can go this fast. I'm gonna get out of the way for this one. Uh, how does she... What, what way do they take to actually speed up that quick? I don't know. I would love to go that way, though, but... How is this guy so far ahead? Wait, what? What was that? I don't get it. What was that? Okay, where'd he go? Where did this guy go? Wait, what? How is he so far ahead? Please, somebody tell, him, tell, somebody tell this guy to slow down. He's way too fast for us. This isn't fair. He's using some kind of cheap tactic to win. Okay, come on. Come on. Dude, there's no way I'm going to win this. He's just so fast. Oh, oh my gosh. I actually surprisingly passed him. I don't know how that's even possible, but I did. And I'm going to get out of the way. And oh my goodness, I actually did it after like four or five attempts. Wow, this game does get harder. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I'm looking forward to doing the rest of this, to be honest with you guys. Because after this, is just balloon challenges from here. And then there might be coin challenges. Because I, I really don't even know how many balloons are in the game. So, just kind of just playing this game blind at this point. But now that we've beaten every single one of these levels, we can make our way to the boss. And it's going to be against Spyro the Dragon. Just kidding. That's not his name. Hello there! Are you ready to race me? Let's do it! That's it. That's all he has to say. And then this is going to be a, a, a plane race. So it's, it's going to be very easy to do, I hope. I'm going to try my best. Dude, no, we got to restart that. That was terrible. I just don't understand how they intend for you to do it at the same time while holding A, especially if you're right-handed. Okay, there we go. I have to put my DS down and then I have to hold it again. But this is good because I'm in the air. And uh, it's not like as tedious as the other obstacles that we had to endure. And then at the same time, you actually get a lot of these things as well. Uh, but this is just the first time around. The second time, the difficulty does pick up. I have to drop my stylus there. Sorry about that. Okay, I gotta find more of those boost panels. That's all I want. Yeah, these things right here. Because then this would make it super easy for me to do. Because then I could just put so much distance between me and him. Look at that. He was always one of the easiest and always one of my favorites just because of how easy he was. And then the second time, I don't even remember him being that difficult, to be honest with you guys. Like, he wasn't as bad. Like, all I remember is just the octopus. That's the only one that vividly stands out. Even the walrus, I know I said he was kind of difficult, but truly, he wasn't that bad in comparison to the walrus. Like, he's... or to the octopus. He's very, he's very, very laid back. Look at... Oh, that's kind of crazy. You have a dinosaur and a dragon, and then you have two water creatures. An octopus and a walrus. It's kind of cool. And then you have a pig, Whiz Pig, who's the evil guy, of course. Everybody hates pigs, man. That's all I gotta say. At least I do. Okay. That's kind of weird. Pigs are supposed to be, like, the smartest animal, too. But they don't ever seem like that. Like, they're, they're smarter than dogs, which is crazy. I didn't know that until, like, a few years ago. And then when I, like, learned about it, I'm like, there's no way. Like, oh. And, like, they have, like... I don't know, like, hearts that look just like humans. It's kind of weird, man. It's just, there's a lot of strange things about, like, pigs. But, yeah. Look at this. Look at the distance between me and this guy. And I won. This is why I love this guy. It's so easy. Nice and quick. And we did it! We beat it now. So now I'm actually pretty interested and intrigued to see what happens next. Now that we've pretty much completed all of these levels. No, 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 I can't believe you beat me! I'm supposed to, you- okay. I suppose you could try my new challenge, collect all of the all of my golden balloons from around my racetracks and Dragon Forest, then come back and see me. 
And then we're going to race him again for the second time. So it's not the coins, it's the balloons that he wants us to collect. And even then, the most... What? 35. Okay, so yeah, they really want us to go back and then do the ones from the beginning. So that's exactly what I'm going to do starting from the next episode. I'm just going to go back and collect all of those balloons. If it's not something you guys want to see... Oh, what do you want? You're back again! So And so soon, complete another challenge and I'll give you another balloon. Uh, extinguish all the torch lights. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not doing that right now. He wants me to ex extinguish the torch lights for him, but I'm not your slave, buddy. So watch. I'm just going to do this. Oh, in 50 seconds? Dude, you can't just disrupt me when I'm working to tell me to do your dirty work, man. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Say, uh, what? Are you serious? This guy's forcing me to do this now. Okay, you bet your freaking little pink butt I'm not going to do it, man. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to be completing off, like I said, Dino Domain. And we're going to do the little whiz pick thing so then we can fill in a quarter of his head. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Goodbye.